I work full time, but I make 10 bucks an hour. And to top it all off, Jaslyn Stokes just found out that she lost her medical insurance. And that's actually above the limit that government for government funded medical insurance. So um, I'm probably going to have to go back to using Planned Parenthood. House Speaker Paul Ryan just released official word that health care repeal legislation includes Planned Parenthood services. His comments prompted an outcry from Democrats promising to fight the move, including some right here on the North Coast. Um, what we are doing right now is being in uh, many conversations with our state elected officials um, because we really are counting on the state of California and standing with us and fighting back these efforts in Washington. So what we know is that Planned Parenthood serves the majority of poor women uh, in rural California. In fact, 91% of Planned Parenthood's patient population in Humboldt County live below the poverty line. But anti-abortion groups like Humboldt Pro-Life are calling the defunding efforts a victory. If they were able to uh, uh, defund Planned Parenthood uh, and that saves human lives, uh, I think that's a good thing. The mothers who are who are pregnant and don't know what to do, I mean, that's one good thing about the local crisis or local pregnancy care center. They provide free oh, ultrasound. Okay. What do you and they have a mobile sound, mobile ultrasound unit that goes throughout the county. Stokes says it's about more than just abortions. They give you information about cancer. They give you information about depression, knowing your sexuality, like things like that. And if Planned Parenthood shuts down in Eureka, Stokes says she'll be out of options. The impact on women all throughout the North Coast and Humboldt County would be devastating. 14,000 women would be without a primary health care provider in Humboldt County. Then what do I do? Do I just suffer from an STD? Do I just live not knowing? Pray for God's uh, grace and uh, mercy. Hopefully we will uh, reduce the number, if not drastically reduce the number of abortions performed in this country. And the nonpartisan Congressional Budget Office says the defunding measure will take away roughly $400 million in Medicaid money from the group in the year after it's enacted. That means roughly 400,000 could lose access to care, 155,000 just in Northern California alone. In Eureka, Nazi Javid, North Coast News.